Peregrine Holdings has over 80 billion rand in assets under management and provides management solutions in respect of wealth and alternative assets. The group has a market cap of 2.5 billion rand and a price earnings ratio of 8. Peregrine is headquartered in Johannesburg with operations across South Africa as well as the UK and the Channel Islands. Now, 80 billion rand in assets under management that differs to the 300 billion rand that Carnation is sitting with. Mm. Are they still going to battle from a size perspective when it comes for searching for alpha? Well, certainly, I mean, 80 billion is a lot easier to manage than 300 billion. So I wouldn't say that they're constrained in terms of trying to add alpha. But if we look at Peregrine, they haven't had a great time over the last couple of years. They were the darling, they were the, they're the hedge fund guys. These are the guys that know how to run a hedge fund. Uh, they've slipped a bit recently. If you look at their performance, it hasn't been that great. So what have they done wrong? It, it's difficult getting it right all the time, I suppose. And uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to put my finger on what the particular thing that they've done wrong. Eugene, your thoughts? Can you put your finger on what Peregrine have done wrong of late? Yeah, uh, Peregrine is a very diversified business. And I think the broking business are struggling. It's a very, very competitive environment and very difficult to make money. Um, and it used to be a sizable portion of the income stream. They also purchased... Um, the International Hedge Fund of Fund Manager, which is a very diffi difficult business. Uh, five years ago, that kind of business was great, but margin squeeze currently not that simple. On the hedge fund side, you've got to be careful. You, in the hedge funds, you can't uh, manage the huge quantum of, of money that you can in generic funds. So, you know, if you start running a hedge fund of a billion or two billion. Uh, rands, it is huge and it's really difficult to add value. You'll also see that a lot of those funds of that size are being capped as well. So it limits growth um, potential. When you go from the darling of a market to pretty much an entity that people aren't interested in investing in, can you mm. recover that lost ground in terms of the reputational damage that you've suffered? Well, you certainly you can. I mean, uh, the markets are fickle. They, they also tend to forget quite quickly. I mean, you know, in two or three, year time, three years' time, if Peregrine put fantastic performance on the board, everybody would love Peregrine. But I mean, I agree that um, it, the broking business is struggling. Uh, another thing, if you look at RMB, I mean, they closed their prop desk. I mean, Peregrine also makes some money out of their prop desk. So, you know, they're not, it's not. You know, proprietary the, trading proprietary desk. Proprietary trading desk, yes. They're not, they're not, you know, kind of in a sweet spot, in, in a, a sweet spot in the industry. That, you know, that's five years ago, that was a sweet spot. Now, I wouldn't say it is. Eugene, could this be a recovery story going forward? Yeah, I think it could be. Um, I think you are not paying much for, um, for earnings in, in Peregrine at the, at the moment. I don't think you're going to see much earnings growth over the next year or so. Uh, if you get a strong um, equity market, you, your broking division will start ticking up. I think the hedge fund business uh, will improve. Um, so yeah, it's it's absolutely a recovery play, and you, I would guess, on Ford P's, they're most probably on a P of six and a half, seven. So um, uh, it's it's not a steal, but it's it's reasonable. But you've got to know there's a lot of risk in the business. Does a recovery play, Eugene, translate into hot? If I ask you, hot or not? Not that hot. <laughs> Jonathan, mm. hot or not? Well, I mean, it is, it is cheap on eight times earnings, but that's where it's traded historically. So I don't think there's much in the multiple expansion. And if there's not much growth, it's not hot for me.